In this lecture, we're going to discuss how to analyze a competitor's backlinks. No link building campaign would be complete or even truly begun without a competitor's backlink analysis. I would caution focusing solely on competitors, however. I strongly believe the best link building tool in the world is human creativity. Be selective in the links you pursue. Just because a competitor is outranking you and has the link doesn't mean the link is inherently good. More than likely, competitors who are currently outranking you will have plenty of links that you should actually avoid. Step 1. Determining competitors. Determining competitors can create understanding and insight within your industry. The six steps. Number 1. Create a list of direct competitors. Number 2. Create a list of indirect competitors. This should provide further insight into your industry. Number 3. Ask yourself. Who do I admire within my industry and why? This often leads to good examples of strong competitors as well as provide important industry insights. Number four, check the industry money keywords and see who's ranking at the top. Number five, check random industry long tail phrases and see who has a decent portion of the search real estate. This is to get a sense of what's going on within your industry and can provide a surprising amount of insight and sometimes link targets. Number six, Check your analytics to find fluctuations, then see who's winning when you're losing. If you need to, there are tools such as SEMrush that are able to show organic keyword gains and losses. Step 2. Competitor Backlink Mining Once you have a suitable list of competitors, it's time to pull their backlink profile. There's a variety of tools capable of this, including Cognitive SEO, Moz's Open Site Explorer, Majestic SEO, AREF, Raven Tools, and SEO Spyglass from Link Assistant. Use the software you're most comfortable with. The more data you can grab, the better. We often use Majestic SEO or Open Site Explorer to make sure we have a diverse set of backlinks. Most of these programs will allow you to download the data into a spreadsheet via a comma-separated value file, better known as a CSV file. From there, we can drill down into the data to find worthwhile links and insights. So let's start by using a couple of Boise restaurants as examples, Barbacoa and Chandler's. I have downloaded two CSV files from OpenSite Explorer. I'm going to copy and paste all the data into a single Excel sheet. Now I'm going to remove everything from the HTTP to the www. from column A. The quickest way to do this is using the Find and Replace. Once open, I'm going to type in what I want to find. Since I don't want to replace them with anything, I will put nothing in the Replace field. Now let's remove duplicates from column A. It's going to be slightly different for me since I'm using Excel for Mac. If you're using Excel on a PC, all you need to do is highlight column A and on the toolbar go to Data, then Remove Duplicates. If you're on a Windows machine, there will be a box inside the pop-up you can check that says, My Data Has Headers. You have to have this checked or it will remove the contents of column A, which will leave your Excel sheet jumbled up. Anytime you're removing duplicates, make sure this box is checked. If you're on a Mac like me, you'll have to do it slightly different. Highlight the column on your toolbar, hit Home, then Conditional Formatting. We then want to highlight cell rules and duplicate values on the submenu. Just leave the settings as they are and hit OK. Now you can scroll down and look for the highlighted duplicates. To remove, make sure and choose the row and then hit Delete Row button in the toolbar. You may have a lot of duplicate URLs in column A at this point. This is because there's multiple links on the same page going to different landing pages which is potentially important information because it shows competitors acquired multiple links per page. Now you'll be down to unique URLs linking to competitors. If you're looking for only referring domains, you should start back at step one and download a CSV of referring domains as opposed to all links. Step three, competitor backlink analysis for link opportunities. Now let's actually analyze the domains and links that your competitor has that you don't. There should be a variety of metrics included in your data set that will help you parse down to quality link opportunities. A few we often look at. Domain authority. Page authority. Source citation flow. Page rank. Top level domain. Number of links from the site. 
Although these won't often tell the full story of each link, it should give you a quick filter of which links are worth pursuing. Step 4. Quick Takeaways So now you have a list of quality links your competitor has, but you don't. That should help create an actionable plan of solid links worth pursuing at the launch of your link building campaign. Before you move beyond research, there are still a few vital steps left. First, head back to your backlink tool of choice and plug in your competitor's URL. Now ask yourself, what is their anchor text diversity? How many unique linking domains do they have? How many links per domain? What is their anchor text usage and variance? What type of sites are linking? What types of links are most prevalent? What pages are performing exceptionally well? And how does my backlink portfolio compare? Ask the interesting questions that will lead to an understanding of your competitor's backlink portfolio. Link building is as much an art as it is a science, and with enough experience you should develop a sense of intuition. Oftentimes it takes a lot of sifting to find the good links. In the industry there's something we call the smell test. Essentially you know when a link stinks. If the link seems fishy, it probably is. Step 5. Determine competitor strategies. At this point, you should be pretty well versed not only in your competitors, but the industry as well. You should be able to understand where the links are coming from and how they're obtained. You should even have a list of links already secured by competitors, which have the potential of resulting in a quick win. This is the time to consider the different link building strategies your competitors are using and what would work well in conjunction with your site. And once you've decided what can work, it's time to take a moment and think. This is the point of this deep research, to deeply understand the industry, the interconnected links, and the strategies used. To understand on a subconscious level of how your competitors are functioning, and then let creative ideas flow. Take this deep understanding and brainstorm. See what comes to the surface. It's time to not just build links based on your competitors. It's time to build links with your competitors and beyond.